Welcome back to Midpoint for a Wednesday afternoon. I'm Rick Blackwell in for Ed Berliner, host of the Ed Dean Radio Show. Ed Dean joining us for a second segment. We just got done talking about climate change. Some people are blaming climate change for what happened. Another plane crash uh, over the Java Sea, 162 people killed. Talk about what's happening right now with Malaysia. Boy, just a tragic year. The third one that has gone down, there are conspiracies. I'm not a conspiracy theorist, but I like you, Rick. I like a good conspiracy out there. They're claiming that even the one that happened late summer, that maybe now that, again, this is a conspiracy. I don't advocate this. Uh -huh. But it, when you look at the year in review, that maybe that this was something that was shot down by maybe the U.S. military because, again, there could have been some sort of terrorism activity out there. You've heard General uh, McInerney, who's been on Fox News and on Dish Network with you guys on Newsmax, who he believes that, hey, the Malaysian airliner probably landed somewhere in Pakistan here um, a few months ago. So they have no clue what's going on. Then you have the third one, which just took place a few nights back. It is crazy what's going on. And again, the conspiracies, again, we shut off communication and contact with air traffic control. We asked for permission, the pilot did, to go up to over 36,000 feet. It's going to be very interesting to see how the news reports talk about this. And, of course, many people just can't wait for a tragedy to take place because it's the only thing they can ever talk about seems to be on uh, some of these national networks out there. It was 24-7 coverage there for several weeks. Yeah. Uh, Bill Cosby, not a good year for Bill Cosby in 2015. Some would say not a good year for the media covering Bill Cosby. What did you make of the allegations? I have no idea what to believe. I mean, I don't want to believe that the Ward Cleaver of our generation <laughs> is a serial rapist out here. And why did any of these women, like Janice Dickinson, mm -hmm. come forth when she was allegedly raped, uh, given a roofie or whatever? Why didn't she come forth in, in, in the 80s with the other, what, 14-plus women that have come out and said that they, he, he raped them? And, of course, Gloria Allred now has a $100 million rape fund out there that hey, Bill Cosby just needs to give money to so these people can be compensated. My point is, is there's a statute of limitations. Why did not these women come forward to claim that he raped them? I mean... I don't want to be rude here, but uh, if there is a casting couch, then who do you blame? The guy who was on the casting couch with you or who forced you into doing this? The bottom line is, is that this is what you have to look at. Is Cosby a rapist or is he not? If not, why didn't you bring it up earlier when it needs to be brought up at? Yeah, this has been something that's been talked about for over a decade, and now it's coming more to the forefront. All right, we're going to finish up on something light. Ice bucket challenge. Everybody was doing it at some point. Uh, celebrities, we had some great YouTube videos out there. It was something for people really to get behind, a charitable organization in this particular uh, situation, ALS. Right. Talk about, I mean, it, you know, it's great when people in this country can come together, no matter what your political stripes, no matter what your ethnic background. And that was kind of a fun one in 2014. ALS Association said that it raised over a hundred million dollars. Everybody can tell you, Rick, what's funny, everybody can tell you what the ice bucket challenge is, challenges, excuse me, but they couldn't tell you what Lou Gehrig's disease is. So I think a little more information, but I agree with you. Everybody was doing it. It went way beyond the political parties. Hopefully they'll do it again this year, raise again over $100 million. This is something where everybody can come together. Can you imagine we had this type of uh, cooperation in Congress? <laughs> well, ice bucket everybody. I was going to say, we th want to throw a lot of ice buckets over certain Republican and Democrats. Let's talk a little bit about 2015. I'm going to put you on the hot seat here, right. Ed. What are we going to be talking 12 months from now? What do you think is going to happen as far as the Republican takeover, both the House and the Senate? And then at this particular time next year, we're going to be talking more about presidential politics. What are your thoughts? Presidential politics, we'll be talking about that by May of 2015. Rand Paul, Jeb Bush, Mike Huckabee's, Marco Rubio's, Ted Cruz. We're going to be talking about something you just brought up a few moments ago about Keystone Pipeline. Remember, the Republicans need 67, not 60, because the president's going to veto it. It means you need 67 votes to override them in the Senate. That's going to come up. Corporate tax reform is going to come up. The question is, is everybody's talking about the president's going to have free reign and will because why? He's lame duck. He doesn't have to cover for the Democrats anymore. I don't know whether they'll cover for him. The question is, is what are the Republicans going to bring up? Keystone will be an issue. Corporate tax reform. What about spending cuts? How will that issue play out? Those are three big issues. And if the Republicans will get something together and send something to the American people, they may sit back and go, hey, listen, we like what the Republicans have to say. Even though Hillary may be running, guess what? We may want an alternative after what we've seen over the last yeah. eight years. Never a shortage of opinions with Ed Dean. Thanks a lot. We'll be listening Thank to you, the sir. radio show, the Ed Dean Radio Show. Stay tuned. We're now broadcasting on two channels on DISH. We're currently broadcasting on the Fox Business Channel 206, and we're available 24-7 on Channel 223. We're coming right back right here on Midpoint. More on the Veterans Affairs Scandal.